Today's video is going to show you how to do high end frequency separation retouching in Photoshop. I hope this video helps you in your retouching journey. This video will show you how to remove pimples and blemishes from your model skin. It will also show you how to create your frequency separation adjustment layers and how to use it to smoothen your model skin in Photoshop. Kindly like this video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Now let's get started. Alright, so first off, we're going to do our basic cleanups. So we have our image over here. We're going to press and hold Ctrl and then J to create a duplicate layer over here like this. And we're going to zoom into our image. So we select this tool with the patch tool over here. Now we're going to circle around the pimples and then drag it to a cleaner place. So you're going to just circle and then drag. So I'm going to repeat this to the whole image until all the pimples are gone on her face. So I'm going to speed up the side so that the video won't be so long. The reason why I love using this is that it gives me manual control over what I'm actually doing. Yeah, there are other automatic ways of doing it, but I prefer doing it like this because I love to control exactly what I'm doing. Now let's check the before and after. This was the before and this is the after. We're going to go ahead and then clear more pimples on her face just to make it a little bit more perfect. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to switch the tool I'm using now to this that is a spot healing brush too so i'm going to decrease the size by pressing the open bracket t the open bracket key to at least to at the size so you're just going to paint over any parts that you don't want and it's going to remove what is at that area for you so i mostly use this for the small spots that i don't like and i use the patch tool for the big spots that I don't like. So let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. As you can see, all the pimples on the face are gone and we have a much smoother and a much better skin to start our frequency separation on all right so i'm gonna press and hold the layer one and hold control together with the background layer and then merge them so you right click and then select merge layer all right so we're gonna create our frequency separation adjustment layers now so we're gonna hold control and then j twice and then we're gonna change layer one to color and then change the name of layer one copy to texture all right so now we're going to hide the texture layer and then select the color layer we're going to come to filter blur gaussian blur let me zoom out the side so that you can see the changes that is happening so we'll change this to 8.4 is okay and then select okay all right, so as you can see, our image is looking blur. All right, so we're gonna come to the texture layer, make it visible, and then we're gonna come to image, applied image, and then over here on the layer column, we're gonna select this drop down and then select color. And then we'll keep the channel at RGB. And then we're gonna come to the blending mode and then change it to subtract like this. 
and then we're gonna keep the scale at two and then the offset at 128. Mind you, this settings is mostly for 8-bit images. All right, so we select OK. Then we select the texture layer, come to the blend mode, and then change it to linear light. As you can see, we have our image back to how it was before. Let me zoom in a little bit. We select the color layer and then create a new layer in between the texture and the color by selecting. We change this to tone. Right, so we hold the texture layer, press shift and then click on the color layer and then press Ctrl G to put it in a group. So we change this group to frequency separation. All right, so we open this group. All right, so now we're going to smooth in the skin now. So we select the color layer and then we're going to use the mixer brush to, to do this. So this is a setting I normally use for my mixer brush too, so you can Pause over here and then just copy this, copy the settings and then use for your skin smoothing as well. All right, let me zoom out. So we're just gonna brush smoothly and gently on her face. And then just even out the colors of her face. For beginners, I would advise you just decrease the wet to let's say 50 or 60%. Then you just keep brushing gently. If you have any comments or you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section below and I'm gonna answer you. So you keep brushing like this. back and forth just smoothing things up this part is a little bit tricky so you have to make sure you take your time to do it you only increase this, the brush size for larger portions or larger areas and you decrease it when you have to do a detail a detailed smoothing I hope I'm making sense all right so We'll continue doing this until all her face is looking smooth or all the skin is looking smooth. So let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in a little bit more and then just smooth in the skin up some more. So at the point you're gonna zoom out and then check from afar how the image is looking. If you have inconsistency in the tones of the image, you're gonna see it when you zoom out. Right, so when you zoom out and you feel like some places are inconsistent, you're just gonna decrease the size of the mixer brush tool and then just correct those inconsistencies like that. Right, so we're gonna zoom in now and then go further more to now edit the textures. So we're gonna select the spot healing brush tool like we did before, and we're gonna zoom into the textures then we're just gonna clean like we did earlier on like that so you're just gonna paint over the parts that you don't like or you paint over any rough parts of the image that you don't like always make sure you decrease the size of the brush before you do this this will help it keep it natural and not that artificial or it will make it look like rubber or plastic
as you can see we have our textures going on and we have our skin also looking smooth as well I'm gonna select the color layer again, select the mixer brush too, and then just brush feather. So this is how you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your time. I hope this video helps you. If you like it, just give us a thumbs up and just drop me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be here to answer you. Now, if you want to learn how to color grade your images in Photoshop as well, you can check out this video over here to learn how to do it. Thank you very much for your time. Bye bye for now.